Welcome to Division with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to be covering division, but in these problems, we are going to have double digit divisors. And a divisor is the number we are dividing by, the number on the outside of the division bar. Now we are going to use the same exact steps in our process that we've been using for any other division problem. So the steps are listed across the top of your screen for you to use as reference. So divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. So you should see three problems on your screen, and I would suggest that you write these out along with me. And whenever you feel confident enough to try some on your own, maybe it's right now, maybe it's after we do one problem or two problems, whenever it is, feel free to press pause and try the remaining problems on your own. When you're ready, press play and check your work with mine. If you wanna do all three with me, that's fine as well. So let's start with number one here, and we have 218 divided by 10. So 218 is the dividend, and 10 is our double digit divisor. So our first step is divide. So we need to take a look at our first number in the dividend, which is a two, and ask ourselves, can we divide two by 10? And the answer to that is no, we can't and get a whole number. So we need to move over to the one, combine the two and the one for a 21. So we need to do 21 divided by 10. How many whole groups of 10 are within 21? And the answer to that is two. So we need to put our two above the 21. It matters where you put that two. Everything needs to be lined up. So again, it needs to be above the 21. Now we multiply. So we come back around. Two times 10 is 20. After we multiply, we subtract. 21 minus 20 is one. Now we bring down our next number, which is that eight. And we now have to repeat. So we go back over to divide. So we need to do 18 divided by 10. How many groups of 10 are within 18? And the answer to that is one. So then we come back around, multiply. One times 10 is 10. Subtract, 18 minus 10 is eight. Now we went all the way over to the ones place so we do not have anything else to bring down. We are done with this problem. So that eight is left over, that is our remainder. So our quotient or answer to that division problem is 21 remainder eight. So let's go on to number two here. We have 987 divided by 25. So let's start with our first step, divide. And we cannot do nine divided by 25 and get a whole number. So we need to go over to the 98 and think about how many 25s can we pull out of 98? How many groups, whole groups? So let's count up by 25s. 25, two 25s is 50, three 25s is 75, and four 25s is 100. So four is too many so we're going to have to scale it back and we can pull three whole 25s out of 98. Now we need to multiply. Three, tw three times 25 is 75. Subtract and we get 23. So after we subtract, we need to bring down that seven and we have 237. So we need to think about how many groups of 25 we can pull out of 237. You might not know that off the top of your head, so we need to estimate and check and see how close we can get. So what I like to do, try to think of something we know. Well, we know 25 times four is 100. That's not real close. So let's try, well, I know 25 times 10, I can just add a zero to 25 and I get 250. And that's kind of close to 237. It's a little higher, so let's scale it back. Let's see what happens when we do 25 times nine. Let's see how close we get. 
So the reason I estimate and check is you might not get it right right off the bat, but you need to start somewhere. So let's try 25 times 9. It might not be correct, but it gives us a starting point. So 9 times 5 is 45. Carry the 4. 9 times 2 is 18. Plus F4, we get 225. And that did work out. That's as close as we can get to 237. So we put our 9 up there above the 7 and then we come back around and multiply 9 times 25 is 225 subtract 7 minus 5 is 2 3 minus 2 is 1 and 2 minus 2 is 0 so 39 remainder 12 so I'm going to put my answer over here 39 remainder 12 so let's go to number three. We have a four digit dividend, 6,704, and we are dividing by 42. So we need to start with six divided by 42, which we can't do. So we need to do 67 divided by 42. Well, 42 times one is 42. 42 times two is 84, so that's too many groups of 42. So we can only pull out one group when we divide. That one needs to go above the 67, not the 6. So after we divide, we multiply. 1 times 42 is 42. Subtract. 7 minus 2 is 5. And 6 minus 4 is 2. We need to bring down the 0. So now we have 250. And we have a 42, 250 divided by 42. Well, I know that 42 times 10 is 420, and 250 is a lot less than that 420. It's somewhere around ha half, not exactly half, but somewhere around there. So why don't we start with 5? It gives us a starting point. So 42 times 5 is going to give us 5 times 2 is 10 and then we have 5 times 4 which is 20 plus that 1 is 21 so that gives us 210 okay that's not bad that's pretty close but let's check if we can get closer I'm going to try 42 times 6 just to make sure you have to get as close as you possibly can 6 times 2 is 12 carry my 1 6 times 4 is 24, plus that 1 is 25. So 252, That's a li I know it's closer, but it's too much. It's high. It went above 250. So the answer is 5, which goes above the 0 there. Now we need to come back around and multiply. 5 times 42, which we already did down here, is 210. Subtract 250 minus 210 is 40. And now we need to bring down the 4. So we have 404. So we need to do 404 divided by 42. Well, we know 42 times 10 is 420. And 404 is pretty close to that. So let's scale it back 1. Let's try 42 times 9 over here to see what we end up with. 2 times 9 is 18. Carry. 9 times 4 is 36, plus that 1 is 37. So 378, and that is as close as we can get. So let's put our 9 up here. 9 times 42 is 378. And now we need to subtract. So we need to borrow with this one turns to a 3. This turns to a 10, but it's actually a 9 because we need to borrow one more time. And this is a 14. So 14 minus 8 is 6. 9 minus 7 is 2. 3 minus 3 is 0. Our remainder is 26. So 159 remainder 26. So there we go. That is division with double digit divisors.
Hopefully you have it down or at least that helped a little. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, peace.